About a year ago, I switched from Windows to Linux, as someone who plays a lot of video games. At the end of that video, I said I would stick to it. Well, it's been a year now. So now, I want to talk about my honest experience about using Linux and whether it was worth it. Before I start, let me quickly explain why I decided to switch in the first place. Honestly, what drove me away from Windows was the endless stream of ads being shoved down in my throat. It felt like Microsoft was doing everything to push me deeper into the ecosystem so that I would eventually buy or subscribe to Adobe or Office 365 or whatever else they are promoting. Like, I get it, they want to make as much money as possible, but I really don't care about Candy Crush, OneDrive pop-ups, or random stuff cluttering my start menu. Like, just leave me the f*** alone. Then there's the upcoming end of life for Windows 10. If you're subscribed to my channel, you will know I use two PCs, one running Linux and the other still on Windows 10. Now, my hardware supports Windows 11, even the one that's running on Linux. But I've refused to upgrade. Why? Because Windows 11 feels more invasive. It has heavier telemetry. Windows 11 unfortunately forced Microsoft account integration. Ads are baked right into the start menu. And now we have Copilot AI, which frankly is just another layer of data collection that I am not okay with. And don't even get me started on the bloat. Windows 11 isn't necessarily slower, but it feels heavier. Like, it's trying to be sleek, which I find cool, but it ends up being an awkward mix of modern UI and legacy components. It just feels half-baked, in my opinion. And this is why I am still on Windows 10, specifically on my second PC. And I give it credit for being stable. But I got tired of constantly tweaking settings, disabling telemetry, and removing bloat only to have it all come back after a big update. That's when I decided, okay, enough is enough. I am switching to the Penguin. When I first switched, I did what most people do. I started distro hopping just to see which distribution feels right for me. So I tried out Mint, PopOS, Ubuntu, which is no longer being recommended for many reasons, Fedora, and eventually Arch. Yes, I do use Arch, by the way. Out of all of them, Fedora really stood out to me, and here's why. Fedora is smooth, and it has a beginner-friendly installation. It has super up-to-date packages, meaning newer kernels, drivers, libraries, and so on. The DNF package manager is powerful, clean, and has rollback support. It is secure by default, and most importantly, it strikes a great balance. So by that I mean it is more polished than Arch, but more current than Ubuntu. So basically, I used Fedora for about 11 months, and I loved it. But unfortunately, I did not use it anymore. Why? Well, if you haven't watched this video, I'll basically summarize. Basically, a firmware update completely broke my grub bootloader, which I depended on for choosing between Fedora and a custom Casio's kernel for gaming. After some deep reflection, I decided to go all in on Casio's. And honestly, I don't regret it. I've heard amazing things about it, and using it full time has actually stopped me from distro hopping. Okay, so now that I've talked a little bit about my distro hopping experience, I decided, you know what, let me show you my current setup. So I'm going to show you how I customize this because this is a little bit different. If you haven't watched my previous videos, this setup looks a little bit more different, but I'm still using the same distribution. And I'm going to show you how I make these videos. So I'm going to show you cohesion, which is right here. And I'll also show you how I game on Linux because well, most of my games that I play or that I previously played on Windows just work on Linux so I don't have to worry about, oh, what if this game doesn't work or anything. So, yeah, I'm going to show you all of that. So, as you can see, I have this wallpaper and I think it fits really well with my um, aesthetics. So, if you have not noticed already, I use GNOME extensions. And these are basically all of the settings that I do use to make my GNOME looking from 
like a basic beginner friendly looking desktop environment to something more aesthetic so basically i have it looking like this so if you have not noticed already um i'm not using a dash to dark i'm using a dash to panel this is simply because it just fits my workflow better compared to if i use the uh dash to dark basically so if i go into the settings of it as you can see these are the current settings that i use nothing too fancy just customize a little bit of things and this is the gradient uh color that i use and i think that's pretty much it as for how i make these videos i basically use notion but on linux it's pretty much called cohesion and as you can see this is my youtube banner so this is how i make most of my videos i have a database of all of the videos i made so far some are in the editing phase as you can see this is the video that i'm currently working on but uh yeah and this is where i have all of the ideas for gaming or for other videos if i want to make on and this page is where i store all of my ideas for gaming or for other content that i want to make this is one of the first things i do and once i have all of the ideas i they go back to my database and this is where i actually start creating like one database for example if i want to make on this for example like this video that i'm currently working on i add the title the niche the status as you can see it says editing that's because i'm literally editing and working on this video and once i have all of the things i need i pretty much record edit and also double check if there's anything missing maybe i didn't pronounce a certain word right or maybe i didn't do enough research i just watch the video again and once the video is done i basically upload it to youtube as for thumbnails i use canva which works on linux and windows all you need to do is to use the website version and everything just works however i am considering using gimp as a software for creating thumbnails but i haven't actually started using it so obviously i'm gonna have to watch some tutorials on how to use it because i'm new to it but with enough time i might transition to gimp but we'll see now that that's out of the way let's talk about gaming so when it comes to gaming i am comfortable to say that most games that i played on windows just work on linux so i don't have to worry about which game doesn't work because for me all of the games just work on linux so let me start with steam because i remember there was one comment that mentioned i should show like what steam games i play so i'm gonna open my steam and then i'll open some other launches just to show you that hey most of my games work so these are all of the games i play except for the finals that's because i didn't have enough space to download this game but i upgraded my nvme to a one terabyte storage so um once i have time i'll test this game but i'm sure it works and i'm sure the developers behind this game do support linux from what i currently know so far tekken 7 also works but i haven't played the online version yet but um i remember i went to proton db and some people stated that the online version just works so that's a good thing and Wuthering Waves, well, I made a video about this and I recently played it um, 1 August, so a few days ago. And the game still works, never had any issues. And I have to say, Wuthering Waves is much better than playing Genshin Impact. But yeah, these are all of the games I play on Steam and they just work. As for Heroic Games Launcher, well, I just have two gacha games and well up to this day they just still work with no issues as for bottles i only have a few games that do not work on dotris so for this reason i only have four games that i use to play on bottles and they just work so let me open psx2 which is a playstation 2 emulator so let me launch something like sega superstars tennis oh i noticed that mango is actually not working Okay, so let me close this. So I'm going to open my terminal. I'm gonna clear this out. So this is where I'm going to type mango HUD equals one PCSX2. 
So now we should be able to get Mango Heart working. So now I can zoom in. So I'm going to play a short match, but it's not going to be like a log match. So as you can see, PlayStation 2 emulator works and it works better than when I was using Fedora because on Fedora I would get like 30 frames and I tried adjusting the settings in this emulator but I just wasn't getting the best performance. So that's why I realized, okay, Casio is, when it comes to gaming, is really good. And yeah, I'm really proud of it. But yeah, again, I'm just showing you that most of my games just work on Linux and I don't have to worry about going back to Windows or just, you know, playing it on my second PC. So with that being said, I think that's pretty much it for my setup and how I do things in here. Cash OS is, in my opinion, one of the best distributions out there. It's um, good for gaming. And overall, when it comes to stability, now, obviously, you may notice that I'm using um, the long-term support kernel. That's because I just didn't have time to tweak the actual kernel for gaming. But I don't think I would notice much of a difference. I think that if I were to switch back to it, I would probably notice a little to no difference when it comes to performance either way it's been very stable i never had any like issues or crashes or even booting up to either the linux lts or like the cache os kernel i never had any issues so yeah with that being said let's get back to the b-roll so now begs the question should you try linux or more specifically would i recommend it to someone who's using windows and the answer is Yes, absolutely. If you're tired of Windows and want to try Linux, here's my honest advice. 1. Start with a virtual machine and pick any distro that interests you. Seriously. Now, hold on. I know I might be getting a lot of angry comments saying, How dare you recommend such an advice? I recommend people use Linux Mint. Mint is still considered as a beginner distribution, but here's why I don't recommend it as much nowadays. Some users argue that too much hand-holding, like what Mint offers, doesn't help new users learn Linux and prefer something like Fedora, more modern, or even Endeavor OS, more DIY, but Arch-based. Basically, sticking to a distribution that is holding you back especially if you want to try something new is the reason why i recommend you go out with any distribution that interests you of course please don't go with a distribution that's outdated and that's not like getting updates because well you might use a distribution that might have security flaws or vulnerability so please don't go with an outdated distribution basically go out with a distribution that is still being maintained that is getting a lot of support so by starting a virtual machine and picking a distribution that you want to get comfortable using you don't have to touch your windows partition specifically you don't have to like delete your whole windows partition which i think is a good thing or if you're like me and want to go all in do it on a second pc or laptop if you have one Job booting is okay too, but be warned, partitioning and managing two operating systems on one drive can be a frustrating experience, especially if you are new to it. Which is why I recommend you start using Linux in a virtual machine, or if you have a spare PC or laptop, then you can also install Linux and start your journey. So here's my honest experience. Linux requires patience. It's not that it's hard, it just has a learning curve. The more time you spend with it, the more you appreciate it. Like any new skill, it feels overwhelming at first, but with persistence, it becomes second nature. When I started using Linux and like basically trying out distributions, not everything was perfect when I started. I ran into tons of problems, especially around gaming and desktop usability. But here's the thing people often forget. No operating system is perfect. Not Windows, not Mac OS, and not even Linux. That's why people tweak their setups to make them their own. But to do that, you need to learn a new operating system, especially if it's new for you. And that is just part of learning. Looking back, I think I made the right choice switching to Linux. 
It wasn't easy, but I'm not going back to Windows fully. I'm proud of how far I've come, and I'm excited to keep learning and exploring more of what Linux has to offer. What is your experience with Linux been like? Drop a comment below, I would love to read your stories. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. With that being said, it's your boy Jury. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.